it hasn't been this bad for more than a century, according to state media. In the northeastern province of Heilongjiang, where two major rivers meet, thousands have already been evacuated from their homes. The provincial governor says 5,000 soldiers are spread between two cities to help local residents fight the floodwaters. Experts say the defences could be breached at any time. And while state media did report a small drop in water levels, they continue to remain dangerously high. The neighbouring provinces of Jilin and Yaoning have also been devastated. Local authorities say dozens of lives have been lost in recent days. It's prompted a second top-level conversation in a week between Chinese Premier Li Keqiang and Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. Also in Heilongjiang province is the Daqing oil field, one of the biggest in China. But operations at more than 750 oil wells have ground to a halt. The most important thing is to make sure that the staff are safe and that the equipment isn't damaged. The electrical machines have nearly all been submerged in flood water. If we continue operations, it may cause injury and irreparable damage to the equipment. Other regions in this vast country are also bearing the cost of the terrible weather. Yunnan province has seen deaths as well as damage to homes and infrastructure. In Heilongjiang province, the authorities remain on alert, including at hospitals, with forecasters warning that the major city of Harbin and its 10 million residents could be hit next. Jonathan Josephs, BBC News.